Ha. Ha. I thought you'd go to sleep there for a second. Oh, I was thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you get here and everything. I'm going to bring my pajamas one day. <laughs> well, you know, we did that. Now, I appeared in pajamas once, didn't I? Or was it my robe? I don't know. It was my robe. I think we it was your double. We did a breakfast show one time. <laughs> your <laughs> evil twin brother. <laughs> and grossed out everybody. Norman. <laughs> well, look at this. Everybody has... This is just incredible. This uh -huh. huge egg. And look at this and frog. And these lovely flowers and a frog. That's our Easter frog. I have quite a feeling this is one of those. <laughs> yes, it makes noise. But anyway, we'll put that up there. Yeah, you know that frog couldn't lay that egg. <laughs> well, you never know. Well, Looks like it's in pain to me. The mail has come in like crazy. Oh, look at this. Mail from around the world, <laughs> I tell you. And right away, we got trouble. Oh, no. Right, right here. here in River City. Yeah. Teresa... Ferber, it looks like. Furball. <laughs> no, no. No, it is Furball. What, Dunbar. I, it I can't read it. Anyway, Furball. Anyway. From Lee High Acres in Florida, wrote Dear Larry and Fabin. <laughs> <laughs> he does kind of look oh, a little like him. I'm after he you. broke, after his health went bad on him. <laughs> and she, sa <laughs> she says, I wish my husband could cook like you guys. <laughs> I made some of that pineapple Betty, and it really came out absolutely scrumptious. Mm. <laughs> Said, I'm glad I got it just fine. The last time I made it, it didn't come out so good. I think I put too much breadcrumbs in it. <laughs> oh, well, sir. Well, thank you. And she said, God bless you both. And thank you so much. We, we appreciate it when our viewers pray over us because somebody needs to. Well, here's an interesting one from Mrs. Harvey Hinton of Danville, Virginia. We get a lot of, lot of viewers down there in Danville. And she didn't waste much of anything. Uh, <laughs> she wrote her, please send my recipe number on the back of a farmer's food win cash ticket. <laughs> win $200 given away each week. And Johnson and I are on our way. We think we got the winning number right here. Anyway, thank you. And uh, <laughs> here's uh, a letter from Paul Burrell in Roanoke, Virginia that says he teaches health and PE in junior high school. And he'd like us to do a high carbohydrate, low fat meal, maybe a rice or a bean type dish, because they're studying nutrition in school. Well, that's a real interesting idea, and we'll, well, sure we'll take that up. Listen, by the way, uh, we're approaching the, the sunset of this particular series of shows, and uh, we want to encourage you to send us your recipes because next year we really want to do a lot of the viewers' recipes, and we're getting some wonderful things in, some very funny things, and some that are perfectly awful that you wouldn't serve your mother-in-law or a dog. A couple of people so, <laughs> talk to me about some of them we've done on the air being that way. <laughs> and so send us your recipes, and we'll put the ad address up on the screen later on where you can send them in. We have almost received a letter <laughs> from... Uh, from the very lovely Laura Barnes of Salisaw, Oklahoma. And I want you to look at this mess. This, this letter arrived, and on the back of this little envelope for our protection, mm -hmm. it says, Dear Postal Customer, we sincerely regret, regret the regret. damage, or regret, <laughs> the damage. Elmer Fudd's running the post office. <laughs> your mail received, yes, that's very true, <laughs> during the handling by the Postal Service and hope this incident will not seriously inconvenience you. We realize your mail is important to you, Laban, and have every right to expect it to be delivered in good condition. And then it goes on to give us some more information down here, but it has been pulverized also so badly that we cannot read the yeah. post office's uh -huh. thing. <laughs> but anyway, this is a marvelous letter from her, and she just, it finally got here, I'm happy to say, from Salisaw, well, Oklahoma. Let me ask you this. Yeah. Did she edge this letter in black, or did the Postal <laughs> no, Service No, the Postal do Service that? did that for her. <laughs> And they have also succeeded in pulverizing their own message about how bad they pulverized hers. I swear, you know, so sometimes you. you think about going back to the old days. I remember when I lived down on 6th Street in Southeast <laughs> that old Mr. Bates down on 5th Street carried our mail twice a day. Twice a day we got a mail delivery, Lord. Uh, I want you to see this was a particularly <laughs> funny when someone couldn't get anything but two cent stamps. For, for Washington, D.C. Just D. goes right on and on and on. Of course, in D.C., they make these things. No, you know. she's been saving them since uh, Ike was president. Who's uh, Is that Dwight Eisenhower? No, that's right? Igor Stravinsky. Oh, well, they look like. <laughs> Ike couldn't even play a radio. <laughs> All, right, <let's laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> but there's so many more go, leaving. Go. Oh, we'll get You know to what it. we ought to do sometime? What? I think sometimes we just ought to do a show where we just sit around and read these dumb letters. Uh -huh. Some of them are quite good, though. They really and are. And we could just eat instead of cooking. A lot we of them coming in from Silver Spring. They must got that TV station back on after they lost their transmitter. We could bring some uh, 
Oh, what we could, we could bring some. Uh, <laughs> lost my oh, by the way, here's one thing, and I want to read this for later. Moon pies. Because I want him to be encouraged. It says you, you ought to compile a cookbook. You would make millions. <laughs> <laughs> We've been trying to for a million years. We'll never oh, get a cookbook. What are you talking no, about? No, we will. We will. I it's have faith. The, the size of a grain of sand, not to mention mustard seed. What are you doing? Well, I'm boiling water. Oh. <laughs> I always seem to be boiling water. And I am uh, I'm no. doing some kind of salmon dinner. Some kind of salmon dinner? What's yeah, that mean? Well, it's, it's a salmon casserole. Are we still out of paper towels? I'm looking at that top drawer right there. Uh, underneath And what? underneath your spa your place. Oh, okay. All right. S see, Thank Doris and Carol Harold are working. Yeah. They've been here. I'm going to put on this fine little finger waiver. All right. Well, while you do that, let me start out here. I've got a one-pound can of salmon, <laughs> and I've just been waiting to do this. I'm going to pour the juice oh, down gross. into the trash can, oh, and gross. that'll make it smell real good after oh, a while. Oh, gross. And we have to de-skin and de-bone this no it's dim bones not d bones we got to take the skin dim and bones. the bones out of this salmon now wait a minute why do you have to do that well because these bones are soft in this i know they? i know but i'm going to take out the big uh, neck bones this is I, I don't mean to throw off on the quality of it but this is cheap salmon so the bones are right big and right plentiful but i do want but to get they the, softened no, well, that most of the bones are, but the 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 spine bones are right large. <laughs> spine bones. Yeah, you know, like shin bones. Uh huh. And well, you I've, have to. I have never heard tell of deboning canned salmon before. Well, in my I don't life. do it at home, but I'm trying to. To what? To be fancy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like cutting the, the crust off a tea sandwich. Uh huh. And I know you have those so often at your house. I've had them there with the crust on. Now, let's see. Oh, see, see right here, Larry, this, this is obviously the tail end of this particular salmon. Watch your mouth. And see right here, the... Well, Lord, that is a right severe bone. But I bet you it's soft. I bet well, you can sure eat it. it's soft. Give it to me. Go ahead. You need the calcium. Just as soft as can be. But I'm just going <coughs> to... Just joking. No, it is. It's soft. Oh, I'm glad you're just joking because I was ready to perform he the hemlock to, maneuver no, on you. <laughs> he was going to let me die right here like I've died so many times on this very uh -huh. set. And I'm just breaking I'm this. I'm taking a joint it up with that other organization does a show on this set. I, <laughs> I'm just breaking this uh, <laughs> salmon up. And I would advise anybody that wants to do this recipe to use a big bowl. Ouch! Because this is a, this Why is is a mine high on? mess. Because somebody else is going to use it later on. Whew, just burned a Lois Bettis. Whatever, I'll out of here. myself. <laughs> and she's going to cook chicken a la wino. <laughs> a la wino? Well, we oh. could have anybody come <laughs> in and do that. We could have any staff member come <laughs> in and do that. Can I do something while you're playing? Sure. All, I just need to start the recipe, and to start it, all I have to do is just put a, a cup of macaroni, elbow macaroni. Now, I had gotten kneecap al uh, macaroni, but this elbow macaroni is much better. <laughs> a cup of that, just put it in a little boiling water with a little salt in there, and that's all I got to do. I got to boil it until it gets soft. It doesn't even measure it carefully. So anyway, there we go. Now, well, smartly done. Thank you. Now, to our big bowl of salmon, we're going to add a regular size package of frozen green peas. It's, <coughs> oh, uh oh, I had a little cough come uh -oh. over me. Now I'm going to throw in. I don't know whether I've cut this up or cut it back. We what? go through this every week on this well, dumb stove. Well, I'll be stove. glad to help you out here. Now that's all. That's all. And that's simmer. And that's, and that, that's wait a minute. <laughs> We've either cut it way up or way back. We're not sure which, because this thing spins, you see. It causes me problems. It should be, that should be. You want me to put it over here and boil it first? No, let's just... <laughs> yeah. Let's see what... <laughs> oh, no, not I'm another just, cottage yes, cheese recipe. I'm throwing in a cup and a half of cottage cheese. Wait, but I think... Well, I'll let you get into it first. Calcium, calcium. Calcium, calcium. you got to think about that. Blind your age. What and you i got to have a age? beaten egg. What? A young, virile man like me. 
Well, your friend Betty Jo Pachel today told me that I look younger. Younger look, every day. Look, you can't break look at the this. egg. You got to see Knucklehead here doing his thing. We've gone through what this. What is this, before. an industrial strength <laughs> egg? <laughs> well, you don't put it on plastic, <laughs> put it on something that's worth something. Crack it on your head. No, oh, that's not. I don't want an egg rinse on my head. I hate to tell you this, this is not boiling. I think I'm finished on this show. Let me put it back here on high. Oh, I know this is on high. I only need one at a time anyway. All right, now I'm going to beat up a little egg in this saucer. Oh, it's wearing me out, this program. This, who has to wash the dishes today? <laughs> Maureen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because this is a high uh, mess recipe. Can't think of anyone um, that deserves it more. I know it. I am so thrilled. All right, now there goes my beaten egg. And i got to have one cup of plain quacker crumbs. Quacker crumbs? <laughs> They're, these are, are plain. You don't want the flavored ones. You got all kinds of flavors. I guess you could use a flavored one if you felt obliged. There's a cup of them. All right. And one half cup of rice. Hallelujah. Cereal. I got a boil going on here. Oh, no. Is it uncomfortable? No, <laughs> <laughs> no not me. This water is oh. boiling. Now, what you do. To get this, you have to crush these Rice Krispies up some, because it's supposed to be, oh, I didn't mean to say the product name on the air. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> terrible. Anyway, we'll anyway have to cancel you're this supposed show. to have a half a cup of, of crushed yeah, yeah. cereal. What are you doing? Aren't we supposed to tell where uh, crackers come from? <laughs> All right, is that what we're supposed to talk no. about today? Where crackers where come crackers. from? crackers. Oh, incidentally. What? I, here's the joke machine. L let me pull a <laughs> joke here. How do you get a squirrel to like you, Bly? I give up. Act like a nut. <laughs> well, I thought it was a cute little joke. Boo. Uh, all right. Boy, you can't say anything. I didn't anybody. say anything. I thought I was right polite. I'm well, you were. A real now, good second you need banana. A cup of, I have burned my arm severely on this oven. This you need a cup of grated, you got some grated cheese. Excuse I me. I hope somebody does. I'm sorry, I have burned myself, and I'm going to give well, myself pour cold water. No, 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 I'm going to give myself first aid. Are you think you are you are you going to sue the station? I've given myself first aid. Well, now can we use that butter later on? Oh, sure. I washed my arm. I swear, I'm burned right here. On, we'll but you're right. An ice cube is the best thing for a burn. Real somebody, quick. Somebody call the people up over to the hospital and tell them to send the lifeguard helicopter over here to pick Bly up so we can take him to the burn center. All right, now this is about a cup of grated cheese in here. Oh my heavens, the stuff's boiling over now. I need something to drain this with. It's in the sink. Right. Oh. <laughs> well, who would have thought of such a thing? We try to help you so much. It's going to be a while. This thing is overdoing it now. This dumb stove. Next thing we're going to do is get rid of this dumb stove. I'm tired of it. And then after that, I'm going to work on Johnson. <laughs> Get rid of him. <laughs> yeah, there's always, a lot of things I'd, around always here. Always thought it'd be pretty good on my own. <laughs> uh, okay. It might be. Yeah, well, we never know. <laughs> <laughs> we may soon find out. <laughs> now, uh, what are you doing now? I'm trying to come up with three tablespoons of chopped green pepper. Well, while we're doing that, I think we ought to show people how we caught the salmon. Oh. We went out on an excursion to get One of this our famous fresh, remotes. Despite the fact you saw us take it out of a can, this is what really happened. <laughs> now, and here we are. Enjoy it. Now, look at that. You can see who's always doing the work on this program. Always working. Oh, seems to be caught on a little something there. Oh, dear. I do it seem is, to be having a bit of a time. Well, I'm well, not really as experienced. As I recall, it, it was not really very much of a fish, but you were very <laughs> weak. <laughs> Well, I'm trying. Of course, Johnson's giving me a little sideline advice over there. Oh, looks like I have caught something real big. Pneumonia, possibly. No, no, it's not that. What is it? Oh, Johnson's having to help me to pull whatever. I think it's Jaws, the way I'm pulling at it there. It's got to be something mighty big. Mighty big. Oh, look at that, Johnson. How embarrassing. I have caught one of those triple-A oh, salmons. What is a triple-A salmon? That's right. Oh, look, that's right frisky, too. Mm -hmm. It's got the happy feet. Oh. And there you see us. And that is how we went about catching today's Catch-O-The-Day.
Isn't wasn't that just that's wonderful? well now and I've, it was right wacky too i might add i've added three tablespoons of uh i don't know what chopped green pepper to this mess yeah. and now i'm going to put in a tablespoon of chopped onion so that's in there you know i never did tell anybody what i was making oh what are you making? i forgot what fact, you, matter of fact forgot i what forgot what i was making tomatoes and macaroni excuse me Mostly I'm just making a mess over here right now. You know, it's the easy recipes that get you always. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> well, yeah. now I've got to have a tablespoon of lemon juice, preferably without the uh, seeds. For those who don't know, I'm chopping onions, and it's rather dull. So I'm just doing it while Johnson is doing all the exciting things. On oh, today. yes. <laughs> and now I've got to have some pepper, if I can ever get this thing open. I don't think this stuff's ever going to get done. A pinch of pepper, that's enough. And uh, oh, it says salt to taste, so I'm just going to use a little. And <sighs> now comes the fun part. Let me get rid of all of this stuff so that everybody at home can enjoy this. This is going to be one of our wilder shows, I can tell. Is it started yet? Now, right, let give me, me another joke right. while I'm waiting for the macaroni to get done. Give what me did the banana say to the dog? I give up. Nothing bananas can't talk. Uh, I thought it was funny, Laban. Well, thanks. <laughs> now, you got to toss. See, all. I have to get along with him, even though the staff uh -huh. does. Well, let's see. Let's hear another oh, one. Oh, come on, for heaven's sake. Are you finished with this yet? What New York building has the most stories? I give up. The public library. Now <laughs> <laughs> well, that was pretty good. I like that. You got any dirty ones? No, I was just joking with you. What? Yeah. <laughs> He's Where <good>. was <laughs> last Saturday night? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No, uh -huh. what animal is always at a baseball game? Well, enough of this nonsense. A bat. Oh, a bat. Oh, that's funny. Okay, now I have chopped up some onions, and I'm going to start sauteing those in a little margarine. And as you can see, they're just going real friskily on this hole. Doggone it. <laughs> I swear, it's not doing anything. I'm so humiliated. This one's bubbling over all the time. The other one's not doing anything. Well, right, I'm now it's doing on it. high. Now it's on high. Okay, now also at the same time, while I've got those in there, I'm going to take some tomatoes. You're supposed to chop them up and reserve the, uh, the uh, juice. But I find it's just as easy to do it this way, and the juice is going to go in after a while anyway, so what's it matter? I don't think it matters a bit. Mm -hmm. Now, the only thing you have to watch out for, watch this, John. So get your head down here. Let me show you something. <laughs> <laughs> you have to watch out for these exploding ones because uh -huh. they got a lot of juice in them. And just chop them up real good, all right? Just mm -hmm. chop them up real good. This thing's not doing anything. We're going to be eating it raw. As long as the macaroni's done, I don't guess it really matters well, no, too much, really. You know, it's not going to kill you, uh -uh. you know. But anyway, you might consider doing it that way. That's the simplest way to do it, but be careful now. Don't do this in a formal tuxedo or anything, because it is a bit on the messy side. There's lots of seeds in this. Lord, his diverticulitis is going to flare up and kill him right here on the air. Let's look at these recipes, by the way, while we're waiting around for all this stuff to get done. Oh, the salmon casserole, you need a count of... Holy underwear, it's doing something. A pound of canned salmon, skin and bones removed, a 10-ounce package of frozen peas, defrosted, one and a half cups of cottage cheese, oh. a cup of plain cracker crumbs, a half cup of crushed rice cereal, one cup of grated cheddar cheese, three tablespoons chopped green pepper, one tablespoon chopped onion, one tablespoon of lemon juice, and a pinch of pepper with salt to taste. And you mix everything together and you put it in a two-quart casserole and you bake it at 45 minutes at 350 degrees. Tomatoes and macaroni, large can of whole tomatoes. Chop them all up. Cup of uncooked macaroni, but you got to cook it. <laughs> a medium onion and a tablespoon of oil. That's for doing your chopped onions in, in case you wonder where that goes. All right? I'm happy to say that the onions are finally starting to saute a little bit. And momentarily, I'm expecting my Marconi to be ready. And we're going to just dump it in there along with that juice. It's going to be real good. And, and that's I'm, all there's going to be to it. It sure is red. I'm, it doesn't look very appetizing to me, ladies and gentlemen. I think that this could be beefed up a little bit by putting, you know, 
herbs and spices and beef we'll and cheese and, and stuff like that. Use your imagination. Use this as a base and then go from there. Put other things in it. Four minutes. Is that what he said? Uh -huh. I was talking. I don't remember. It will just take forever to get this. Oh, this is done. This is all dente. Mm, wonderful. What do I do now? Get it off. Quick. Well, I thought you were going to put some herbs and spices no, in No, I don't have time. I've run out of time now. Oh. I just know he's doing something awful behind my back. Are we still on? You guys are going to laugh for about five more minutes until that hits that big wire under there. <laughs> and it ain't going to be funny oh, anymore. Oh, just look and see. <laughs> <laughs> well, those rats are going to have something to yes, drink tonight. Yes, <laughs> yes. Well, it was just a little bit. Just a tiny little bit. Just enough to short it out a little. They think it's funny, <laughs> but the engineers will not now, be laughing when they hit the studio in three minutes. Mm, All right. That is tasty. You know oh, what I think I'm going to mm. do? Put a little Parmesan cheese on. We just had some excellent, left over. I excellent. thought I'd throw that in there, too. What the heck? Now, you're going to bake this, except I'm not. I've already got one in here. What else can, can you I hear Maureen in? cackling back there? I'll you swear wait until she gets out here and tries it. That's because she never has a good time. This is the only good time she ever has. I was going to put some pepper in this, but I can't find it. Do you have some pepper? Yeah. She does indeed have some pepper. I'm going to throw a little pepper in there, too. I'm just real sorry about the, the macaroni juice all over the cables. Just the very thought. Doris, I need a big spoon. Big spoon, big spoon. Oh, this is coming out perfectly. Look at that, beautiful. I put a little Parmesan cheese in there. You know, Johnson, I hate to tell you this, but I watched you last week on the air, and I've never seen so much salt go into a dish in my time. Well, now, you know <laughs> that, you is, that? that is a pig uh, pimento of your imagination. <laughs> I'll play it back for you. <laughs> Every layer had a ton of salt on it. It was incredible. Well, what can you do? Die. Yeah, I reckon you could. That'll do, that'll do. <sighs> that'll Let be it, that. that'll be it. Well, Thank are you we so ready much. To yeah, go let's go over here and <laughs> sit so down and try this. this mess out. Is there something for me to set my pan on? No, you'll need to bring something. Here's a... Oh, all right, we've got a pot holder over here. Yeah. Well, it just looks real pretty. I just know it's going to be wonderful. Well, that looks interesting. I think uh, it looks real pretty also. Well, this is the right colorful uh, little dish of food we've got going mm -hmm. here. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. And certainly is cheap. <laughs> Isn't it pretty? It's just a veritable cornucopia of colors. Oh, I just love it because this macaroni's got a nice little crunch to it. Oh, it does not. It's perfectly done. It is. Mm -hmm. It's right good. But most and real it tasty. Not. Well, let me try this. Oh, there's a big bone. No, I'm just joking. No, you bonehead. I like it. It's good. It really is. I wouldn't say if it, it, if it weren't so. It's good. Even your friends that don't like salmon will like this. Mm-hmm. Take care, goodbye, so long, and get out of here. Come on back. <laughs>